Hey guys, so I've spent the past probably half hour literally just going around my entire place and looking for the best spot to sit or stand and record this video. And this is what I came up with, so I hope it's decent. It's October, which means it's getting really close to Halloween. Everybody's getting in the spirit, everybody's pulling out all their crazy scary things, and I actually, I like Halloween, but I'm a big wimp. You guys probably know this, last year I made my how to watch a scary movie for wimps video and um, yeah, I'm not exactly secretive about it. But I still really like Halloween and I think even wimps need ways of being able to celebrate this wonderful holiday. Of course, if you are a scaredy cat like me, then you'll know that it's kind of difficult. Most things that people tend to do for this holiday are pretty scary, ranging from like pseudo creepy to really, really like blow your mind, you're probably gonna pass out. Haunted houses, haunted anything really, I mean that's, that's not an option for us. Honestly, I've never been to a haunted house in my life, um, except for like the ones for really little kids, but an actual legitimate haunted house where like people chase you with chainsaws and things, mm -mm. I went to a haunted theme park one time, Six Flags, pretty much just because of peer pressure, it was awful. I'm kind of scarred for life. But there are plenty of other things that you can do. So for you wimps, here are some ways to celebrate Halloween. Firstly, my absolute favorite, dress up. Cosplay like there is no tomorrow. I always pick a character that I want to be. I don't think I've actually ever been anything scary. The scariest I did was a couple of years ago, I tried Bella Looks So Strange. That was way too much fun, although I couldn't really get into character enough because I'm not mean, but you know. <laughs> that was the scariest I've ever done. And last year I did Amy Pond. I kind of had to throw together my costume because it was a last minute thing and I was just going out with some friends. But I still think that it turned out pretty well and someday I would like to try and re-cosplay both Bellatrix and Amy and try to just do it even better. This is the one time of year when it is mainstream acceptable to walk down the street, completely dress up as something crazy or fictional. Enjoy it! The second thing you can do is watch a pseudo scary movie. Not a really scary movie, mind you. Just a pseudo scary movie. Something a bit creepy, preferably something you've seen before so you're not completely freaked out with your friends. Or you could pick something like Nightmare Before Christmas or The Corpse Bride or something Tim Burton where it's sort of creepy but it's not actually like Saw or Texas Chainsaw Massacre or anything <laughs> completely disgusting. And there's still classic Halloween movies so it's perfectly socially acceptable. If you want to decorate for Halloween then pick stuff that's not actually completely scary like cute little ghosts or maybe some cobwebs. All this is perfectly Halloween-y, but it's not like skeletons or vampires or fake blood or anything like that that could actually be a little bit frightening. Basically just go to like the little kids section for the Halloween decorations as if you're decorating a kindergarten classroom. Perfect. You could also carve a pumpkin. I mean that is classically Halloween. And I'm sorry, but I've never seen a pumpkin, even the scariest carved pumpkin, that actually is frightening. And this is coming from me. You also could do something like a witch on a broom, or just sort of a slightly creepy face, or something that's not even really tampering with scary, but it's still a carved pumpkin, so it's still Halloween. Make a pumpkin pie. I mean, sure, it's a little bit Thanksgiving, but also, you know, Halloween is the pumpkin holiday as well, so, you know, food. Basically, you also could just make it all about food. I mean, what holiday is not? Find some cool recipes, maybe with pumpkin or maybe candy corn or other Halloween-y tastes and flavors, or you could just make things in little Halloween-y shapes like pumpkins or witches with brooms or things like that, ghosts. Make it all about food, everyone will love you. I guarantee you do not need a scary costume. You will be the most popular person at that party. Everybody will know you, everybody will love you. You'll have so many new friends. Hand out candy to trick-or-treaters. That's basically what Halloween is all about. Granted, some of the costumes can be kind of scary. I know, I've had some 12-year-olds who've quite frightened me with the fake ghost plastic masks. Most importantly, never ever ever tell somebody that you're actually scared of Halloween. Like I basically just did with this entire video. You're laughing right now because you think this video is sarcastic. It's really not. I love Halloween. I'm just pretty much scared of everything. It makes life kind of difficult. I'm in Spain right now and I actually think I'm even going to be on a flight on Halloween. So I don't actually think I'm gonna be dressing up for the first time in like my entire life. So I wanna live vicariously through you. So tweet me pictures of you in your Halloween costumes, comment about what you're gonna be and all that stuff. I wanna know, I love it. This is the best part. So don't let me down, let me see what you're gonna be. Now that I've recorded this, I actually really have a craving for pumpkin pie. Even more, pumpkin spice latte. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.
Is it worth getting on a train to Madrid just for a pumpkin spice latte? Oh, the life questions we have to ask ourselves.